Hey guys, it's me again, and I'm back with some no, some more uh, unboxing videos today. So I have a double unboxing this evening of two brand new models that I have just purchased today for a whopping total of fifty-six pounds. But yeah, and that's because today I've had a rather interesting day out because I've decided to go to somewhere that I haven't actually been to for a good while. If I can find my bit of paperwork. I've actually been to the... <laughs> you can't see it very well. The Runway Visitor Centre at Manchester Airport. So, yeah, that was a very interesting day out indeed. But, and of course, that meant that I was in the aviation shop. Oops. So I'm going to start off with one. I'm going to start off with some uh, a new release by Gemini Jets that's only just came out in the last couple of possibly weeks. And I was talking to the owner in the shop actually, and he was saying about how he ordered this aircraft as a model, and that he's quite happy because it's already he's sold out already because I brought the last one today. And we're just talking about some Gemini Jet stuff as well that we'd like to see released in the future and that of course is the Embraer 170 for American Eagle or American Airlines or they're not called American Eagle anymore they're called Summit why are American Eagle now called? well they're operating as anyway can't think of a name that begins with an E but yeah so that's, this was £27, probably a bit more expensive than what I would pay, but, well, I wanted something to treat myself to. So yeah, and unusually it's packaged down, which I've noticed, but that is because I checked it in the shop first, he wanted me to have a good look at it, and then we are just talking for a bit. We had a good day spotting, and if you click on the link, I'm going to try and post a link there uh, to my Manchester Airport video for today. But yeah, and also I like the MBR 170s because I used to fly on them quite a bit as well. And I'm flying with American this year to New York, so I did think about the 757-200, but it's pretty expensive at the moment, 50, 52. It is uh, £36, so it would have been a bit more expensive. But then again, I'll do it afterwards, because I've got something else that I wanted last year to get in America, and I've managed to get it now. But they still haven't brought out the 757-200 for Aer Lingus in 1400. I know they brought it out in 1200, and we've been talking about it, but... Yeah, what is American, called, American Eagle called? I can't think. American American Eagle American Eagle Airlines they're not called American Eagle Airlines oh you're still calling them American Eagle according to this Envoy So yeah. So I imagine the fleet who are the MBR one seventy is owned by. Right. It's rather interesting because apparently they don't actually own one seventy. Ah, that's interesting. Yeah, okay, but yeah, so, gives you some information, and this model was delivered on the 15th of July, and it made its first uh, flight on the 27th of July, 27th, yeah, oh, no, both, yeah, no, it was delivered on the 27th of June and made its first flight. No, 
delivered on the 15th of July to American, but it made its first flight on the 27th of June. That actually makes sense. Envoy fleet. Oh no, the planes still say American Eagle on them. Anyway, let's have a look. So this is an MBR 170, not a 175. But, okay. Ooh, ooh, I like this. Ooh, I like the new boxes as well. Embraer ERJ 170 1400. Just in case you don't know what scale it is. But then again, why are you collecting Gemini Jets? Because most, although they do have a 1200s and that, or 1400, I'd say. Oh, it's my little. Ooh, ooh. So, yeah. You haven't have guessed. Americans now becoming a major hub airline at my airport. Oh, 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 this is sweet, this is. Oh, this is going to make some good journeys. Wow. So, I can get the camera. Do I have a sneaky look? So, its registration is N4 O. Actually, say is N O four N four O one Y X. Oh, and the box has got an issue. Don't know whether you can see that, but the construction thing seems to have gone into another language. Hmm. Looks like there's been a tight thing error. Yeah, it looks like there's been a slight error. But yeah, Ooh, I like this model though. Oh, this is sweet. This is sweet. So yeah, it's American Eagle. Got the American flag. Ain't really got much about it, but it's just nice little. I'll go nice with some Herper Airstairs, I think, some one five hundred Airstairs. Love the little landing gear. Look at that. That is nice. But I don't know what that is there. Is that part of the moulding? Hmm, that's interesting. But I like the little landing gear bits. That's going to look real good. It's going to look real good. My model. Oh. So yeah, this is the first part of the unboxing. And I've got my second part to now go, so... Uh, I think you enjoy oh, oh no actually no. Just gonna point out as well this. Oh it's also good. Oh it hasn't got the one world. But it did have one world. Oh. Mm. Oh it does, yeah it does. Don't know whether I can zoom in enough to see it, but Just have the little one more thing, and it has this little amped nose like the Dreamliner. But yeah, oh, and it's little Diddy engines. But yeah, ah, oh, ow, ow, ow. But yeah, so. I still haven't worked this out yet. But yeah, my. I haven't decided what routes this is going to do yet from Connecticut, but. From Greenwich, Connecticut. New York International, but yeah, it's going to do some interesting ones, I think, anyway. Possibly down to DCA or something. But yeah, oh, and maybe Boston. Yes. But we have a new player for the Boston route anyway, so, and some other flights. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the second part, and I'm sure we'll have a third part to this at some point this week. But yeah. Hope you enjoy.